Hi, this is Bob Weiss. I'm the host of Shaking Your World. Cheers. Good afternoon. Here we are today at the West Dallas Farmer's Market. Today is the 6th of August, 2020. This is part of our continuing series of Shaking Your World, getting back to where the food actually comes from. And we're going to see one of my favorite purveyors and farmers, Cindy, in just a few short minutes. Come along. So of course, this is the year of the great pandemic. It's 2020. Everything has changed. Many people are still staying at home. It's going on for months now. We're in August. I'm gonna walk back here and see Cindy. You can see generally there are many more purveyors that would be here. Um, maybe they're keeping themselves for Saturday. I have a very busy day, I'm not sure, but let's go talk to Cindy and find out what's up. Come on. So there's generally a variety of things here and what I typically like is that uh, not only is, is there a, just a bountiful display, but everything's incredibly fresh. Many of these things were picked the same day and you have an opportunity to see just this incredible Lux product. Flowers, produce, vegetables, fruit, obviously in some cases, well, we're coming into the, uh, the tomato season. Um, all sorts of marvelous things that are of the moment. And that's really what the best play is here. So any color of, of tomato you want to find in Wisconsin, you can find here. Uh, cabbages, a variety of things that are just extraordinary. So typically every one of these stalls is completely filled to the max. Every space is taken. You can find uh, all these shelves are filled with people having fresh produce out. So I'm curious to find out why that's not the case today. Uh, again, it's just a beautiful day in Wisconsin. Beautiful day here at, uh, at the West Dallas Farmer's Market. Um, and in a few minutes, we're gonna walk over and talk to Cindy, but let's, let's boogie over here and see what we can find. Beautiful produce. These zucchinis are gorgeous. Uh, these eggplants are beautiful as well. You can't say enough about this. And I think the prices are much more than reasonable, by the way. And unfortunately, one of the things we can't do in this uh, pandemic situation, we can't touch things. We can't pick them up and, and, and feel them and smell them. Um, so as a chef, it's very difficult to actually get into what you want to cook with. Typically, it's, it's just the, it's not just the visual sight of something, it's the feel of something. You get a sense of it. And I, I have long maintained for the 30 or 40 years that I've cooked that there's really a Zen approach that I have. It's like every shrimp that I cut, it rather tells me what it wants me to do with it. It's just a beautiful experience, which you cannot do when you can't pick things up. So let's walk down this way a little bit and see what we can find over here. Like anything else in life, there's a protocol. You know, one thing goes one direction, one goes the opposite direction. These are great prices. So I've stopped here often over the years as well, just some great things to work with. Uh, you know, coming up in this beautiful pickle season as well, remarkable products. Tis the season for melons. How you doing? Beautiful day, isn't it? Patty pans, if you haven't worked with patty pans, it's a type of squash, incredibly fun, easy to work with. I can recall these first came on the scene 25 years ago, playing with these. Lovely to saute, just real fast and they're done. <laughs> Leek is really underappreciated in town as well. There's so much versatility that takes place with this as a type of onion. How you doing today? This greenery is beautiful. Absolutely lovely. And plants as well. Pardon us. Just some stellar pricing. Lovely. You're well familiar with the uh, daikon radish. Lovely product as well. How are you? Beautiful day, isn't it? Lovely product, thank you. This looks like a type of kale that I play with. And 
in the past, it wasn't just the produce and the fruits that were here. Uh, this magnificent floral displays, and I suppose that once you get into autumn, you'll see more of that taking place, but um, the fresh chickens, the organic chickens, the organic meats, and I'm not seeing that today, so interesting. Oh, Cindy. Hi. Hi. Got time to talk? Sure. Of all the people I've seen over the last 20 odd years or so at the West Ellis Farmers Market, this by far is my favorite vendor. Cindy's an actual farmer. They are multi-generational and she has a real commitment to her produce as well. Um, looks a little bit slow today. No, it was really busy. We don't okay. have hardly anything left. Good. Timing Sold then. Sold out of corn. Excellent. Yeah, we sold out a lot of stuff. Fantastic. So what are the biggest sellers this year? Uh, actually, everything. Okay. People are canning, yeah. freezing, whatever they can. Staying at home, obviously, not going out to restaurants. Yep. 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 Doing a lot of grilling of corn and yeah. a lot of grilling of vegetables this year. Excellent. So. Well, good for you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what about the the meats and, and the, the chickens and things like that we've seen in the past and the mushrooms? Have they been around? Yes. The mushrooms okay. come on Saturday. Okay. Chicken and meat, she's here all the time, Okay. every day. Eggs, we sold out of eggs. We do chicken and duck eggs now. Good for you. So, but we sold out of those two today. Very nice. All right, I need some things. So, sure. cool. Uh, bananas, both uh, sweet and uh, and hot. Okay, how many do you need? Uh, how you got them bagged? Um, well, they're five for a dollar, the baskets. We got 12, 15 on the hots. A large bag is good. You're looking for the half. Maybe a medium minute size. This is a perfect oh. size for me, so half a bushel is great. Uh, of half e of this, you mean, or? No, no, no this size, of okay. one of each, please. Okay, be great. One of each. Yep. We've got the half sharps, too, the sweet. Okay. All different kinds. Lovely. Resin in a couple weeks, probably. Good. Uh, same size for the bells, please. Okay. I'm looking for something for the second course for the dinner tonight uh, for Emil and for his bride. So I'm, I'm doing a uh, calamari that's stuffed into an eggplant shell with a fettuccine and feta and uh, gorgonzola cheese. So I think I want something to be smaller. I'll slice them in half and we'll stuff it that way. So I think this guy is the size I'm looking for for this. If you're doing uh, you know, eggplant sticks or something of that nature, you'd want to go for something a little bit larger. Uh, you're concerned about the moisture content at some point, but this would be a really appropriate size for, for that as well. But for me, I want this guy and this guy. Okay. Uh, she actually will just throw them in the microwave, put a little cheese on them. Say it ain't, say it ain't so. You know? The microwave, say it ain't so. The little, the little ones, I cut them in half for garlic. Little and lemon as well. Well, I haven't tried the lemon. You can do I that. that. And then I put the sauce and cheese. A little lemon oil would make a big difference, Ooh, but I'm okay. sure you got the whole thing going on. Okay. So what trends have you seen this year, aside from the fact that the people are staying at home and people want to get product and they want to take it home and, and cook at home, what else have you seen? What are people asking for that might be out of the norm? Uh, well, they are canning pickles like crazy. Okay. That is one thing. Okay. I can't pick the little ones enough. Okay. We've been selling 50 to 100 baskets. Nice. Every other and day. how long will that season last for? Uh, that will last until it freezes, it should. Okay. We, got, we just started our second patch. We sure. got one more after this. Okay. Uh, well, tomatoes. Tomatoes are our, our big thing. Okay. They're all waiting to can tomatoes. Okay. And but you've got, what, another time. another month to go on this? Oh, yeah, yeah. The okay. canning hasn't started yet. Okay. So. Excellent. Yeah. And things like dill, obviously, towards dill. the end of the season, I'm, I'm guessing, right? Yep. No, we've been having dill right along. Okay. The pickles, yep. So. Cool. Onions. Everything has just been... People asking about red onions this year? Yep. Okay. We got our reds, whites, yellows. Okay. Yep. Obviously no concerns about salmonella with you as opposed to the processing plants. No, no. All right. Nope. Um, so <laughs> we what just tell people, wash it when you take it home. There you go. Like anything else, anything right? Anything else. No Common matter where sense. you buy, you got to wash Common it. Common sense. Yep. Uh, and have you got a large bag of onions that I can uh, buy from you as well? Uh, I can make because that's all I've got left. Okay. They're mixed. Is that okay? Absolutely. Perfect. I can do that. Thank you. So, okay. Any uh, any comments or anything you want to talk about? We just 
just want everybody to come. Of course you do. Keep us, keep us in business. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And keep the restaurants going because we do have a lot of restaurants. <laughs> I'm sure have, you do. Like you. Uh -huh. <laughs> We have about 20 to 25 restaurants and uh -huh. they are hurting right now. Yep. They're not buying as much because they yep. just haven't been doing the business that they right. need to do. True indeed. So, yes, get out there and support the restaurants too. Cool. Thanks, Cindy. Appreciate your time. Okay. Thank you. I do it different. So obviously you've got to have just a ton of empty bushel baskets there now. So how many different bushels do you bring down in the course of the day? Well, the whole truckload. Okay, is that... The whole truck is that, plus the corn is all on a pickup. So is that 50? Is that 100? Is that... Oh, well, there was 50 of just pickles. Holy balls. And then peppers, I had 10, 20, 20 well, about 40 baskets of peppers. So, and then about 30 of the boxes like that of tomatoes. Potatoes, I think 25 baskets. So we, we make sure we have enough for everybody. Congratulations. It's, like I say, it's been busy. <laughs> so it's not just West Ellis, by the way. You do other markets as well, right? No. Okay. I only do here and at okay. the house. At the house. Okay. Yep. That's enough. Because you start doing all those different markets, then you're not doing your own stuff. You cannot pick in the fields and be at market at the same time. No, of course not. I, I use Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays for picking. Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for selling. Was there a point that you were in East Troy or somewhere else as well? Well, I used to do some of the other markets, Okay. but I guess I'm getting too old. Uh -huh. we, we built the business so good here yep. that I don't need to, and customers come out for canning out at the farm. Sure. They know what days were there, the picking days, and they come out there. Nice. So, yeah, this is all we can handle. We're too busy here. I believe that. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you. Emblematic of so much of summertime, we have these gorgeous flowers here, and this is really one of the beautiful things we have here. This is a marvelous produce market, farmer's market, uh, chickens, organic meats, mushrooms on Saturdays, and for these stellar plants. And just to take the opportunity, which you have now during the COVIDcation, smell the flowers, embrace nature, embrace the natural products you can get directly from the farm, take home at your own table, not even going through a restaurant, to my chagrin, perhaps, but I like the fact that you can take all the things that we do in the restaurant and you can recreate the same magic yourself at home with extraordinary fresh products. So here we are today at the West Dallas Farmer's Market. We'll come back another day and uh, thank you for visiting. Come on. <laughs>